constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Eight proposals have been put forward as cause of action by the Presidential Committee appointed to solve issues in relation to the Faculty of Medicine of CITEM after considering recommendations put forth by numerous stakeholder groups, including the deans of faculties of medicine of all state universities. The statement by Government Information Department today said the proposals will be implemented in order to arrive at a permanent solution that is reasonable to all stakeholders and in keeping with government policy. The statement says CITEM will be abolished in a legally acceptable manner, ending the existing ownership and management structure whereby the profit-oriented entity owned and managed by Dr. Neville Fernando and family would cease to exist. Furthermore, assets, liabilities, staff and students of CITEM shall be transferred to a non-state, non-for-profit making degree awarding entity that complies with the minimum standards on medical education and training. Government is expected to shortly commence discussions pertaining to establishing the proposed not-for-profit entity with interested parties. It is also proposed that the new entity recognize all students currently enrolled at CITEM possessing required entry qualifications. However, former students who have completed their degrees will be addressed on the advice of the Sri Lanka Medical Council based on the determination of the filed Supreme Court case. Meanwhile, arrangements will be made for students who completed their degrees to undergo clinical training at recommended government hospitals. It is also proposed to continue the suspension of enrolling new students to CITEM as per a letter issued by the Secretary to the Ministry of Higher Education dated September 15, 2017. Admissions will only be made to the new entity once compliance with the minimum standards of medical education and training is fulfilled. The statement added that the current shareholders of CITEM shall not participate in the ownership or management of the new entity adding that the cooperation of Dr. Neville Fernando and family is extremely important in this regard. It is also proposed that the Ministry of Health must mandatorily gazette and place before Parliament within one month the agreed minimum standards for medical education and training based on the draft submitted by the SLMC. Once all tasks and agreements are complete, the new entity is to be established under the supervision of the Ministry of Higher Education and the University Grants Commission. The communique noted that the entire process should complete by the 31st of December this year.